underage drinking. Not good, is it? No. Parties. Late night parties. Late night parties without your parents. What does this usually lead to? Underage drinking. <laughs> so Barry, could you please tell us your story of how you started underage drinking? I'll tell you my story. Well you see it started 12 years ago and I was pressured into drinking because of my mates. My dad had a drinking problem so there was always alcohol somewhere in the house. My mates would sneak it out and, and we'd, we'd go places like to, to clubs and drink and all things like that. We'd go to parks, there were little children walking around and I said hello to one of them and they said ha 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 and laughed at me. It felt horrible. They thought I was a laughing stock. <laughs> the hardest thing was just, just, I had no one left. It was my fault. I decided to start drinking and look at me. I'm different now. I'm drunk. I'm, I have no life. I have no job. I live on the streets now. It's not fair. Well, that was a very heartfelt tale. I hope you all found that very informative for your brains. I'm sure I did. And remember kids, if you start drinking, you'll end up like Barry. <laughs> You playing that cracker fool? You woke me up, you. Good morning, Mr. Duncan Truck. Yo, sup, Nicks. I see you drink underage. What is your opinion on that? I don't care about no stinky nizzle. I pop a cap in your ass, fool. I started when I was about 16. Look at me now. Do I look any worse? I don't think so. I think I look better than I did a year ago when I wasn't drinking. Do your parents know about this? What the frizzle sticks? Are you rushing me out, man? I'm gonna go loco on your old man. Ah! Oh, watch out! Get your ass back here, fool! I think we got away from him. At least he didn't ruin my hair. That's it! I just need to make one phone call. Good morning, Dr. Phil. Hey, hello. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. That's okay. You know why I gave you a call, right? Yes, I do. You needed me to help you with your problems. Well, actually, I want you to start living as a gay woman. Um, and I want you to start having a gay relationship. I'm sorry, but that's not what I called you up for. I don't believe that's true at all. Uh, it's, it's the truth. Now, is that the truth or a lie? I don't tell lies. In fact, it's the real deal. Are you nuts? What? No. Stop taking yourself so damn seriously. Then what do you want from me today? We need your help. Underage drinking. What's your opinion? Well, it's ridiculous. I didn't have my first drink till I turned 21. And boy, was I a drunk pimp. And do you think you made the right decision at drinking after you turned 18? Well, I didn't make the decision. Well, stingy parents did. They told me, you gotta grow up. So I grew with some stash. Then did they make the right decision? They think they did, but they were wrong. I missed out on so much fun back then. Everyone would get laid before me. My friends would ask me, are you having sex? I'd be like, no. And then they would be mad at me, and I'd be like, quit being mad at me, and just love me again. And they didn't. They just went out and had sex. But that's okay. <laughs> but they would have been too young to have sexual intercourse. 
so. It's wrong. I don't want to hear it. Listen, Dr. Phil. I think it's wrong to have sex before you're 18. That's just my opinion. Uh, are you avoiding reality or... Go on. You're a bitch! Uh, let's, let's just continue. No, we have to. No, we're running out of time. Then get to the goddamn point already! What? Okay, let me ask you one thing. No, no, no. What is it now? I need to confess. I have been, throughout this whole interview, a rotten little bitch. Okay. And do you realize that this is a big problem? It's not really. That's a load of crap. Let's get back to the interview, Dr. Phil. You see, I want you to know, you're bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Um... Is there a problem? Yes. What'd I do? Give me a short answer. That wasn't a short answer. And it looks like we're out of time. We didn't even get to the point. Okay, okay. I'll let you hear what you want to hear. Thank you. There's only one person who controls you, and that's you. You make your life decisions. <laughs> Good words, Dr. Phil. And by the way, what? I don't know anything. Fucking bullshit! I like